Hey ladies, and like the 10 guys that are watching. Shout out to Eric Aman Amania, Amaya. <laughs> How's it going guys? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. If you are new here, smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. This week, James and I were watching our new favorite Netflix show, Lock and Key. Hashtag Netflix and chill, hashtag not sponsored. And I was eating some snacks, of course. I was eating my favorite chocolate bar, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Let me know what your favorite chocolate bar is in the comments below. And I decided, you know, I'm gonna make a ginormous peanut butter cup. But not out of cake. I wanted to actually try the real thing with chocolate and peanut butter. So, without further ado, darling, let's get started. I'm wearing a hat because I didn't feel like doing my hair today. <laughs> Don't hate, okay? Appreciate it. I'm also gonna remind you to send in your clips. You may notice that I've been featuring people at the beginning of my videos and you can be a part of it. If you wanna be a part of it, I just simply need you to send me a quick little video saying, hi, my name's Georgina and I'm from Alabama and you're watching Epic Confections. Let's do it! That's it, easy peasy. Send it to epicconfections at gmail.com. Send that shit now if you want to be part of the video. Let's get started, y'all. Hi, I'm Amber from San Antonio, Texas, and you're watching Epic Confections. Let's do it. Yo! So to start, I just melted down a shit ton of chocolate, as you can see right here, in a water bath. The water bath is just a pot filled with a little bit of water, maybe a quarter of the pot, and a bowl on top of it, and you kind of let the steam melt the chocolate instead of putting it in the microwave where it can burn and blah, blah, blah. A water bath is the way to go. Next. So I have this lid. It's from a catering bowl. So if you were to call a bakery or you know somewhere that does some catering and you want some takeout, they're most likely gonna put it on like a nice tray with a lid like this. Now, I chose this lid because Reese's Pieces has those ridges all around the side, and this does too. You don't have to do it this big. You can use a smaller pan. Um, an ideal pan would be a tart pan because it has really, really nice ridges all along the side of it. I couldn't find one that big. I can only find uh, little small ones. But you know me, I wanted to go big and go home. So we're gonna try this out. I don't know if it's gonna work. If it fails, it fails. Y'all know I'm still gonna upload it because I always show you my fails because I'm transparent with y'all. <laughs> I'm not transparent. I'm gonna take my chocolate off the heat, let it sit for a while, and then I'm gonna start pouring it into my mold. Let's do it. So hot chocolate and plastic don't really mix. So make sure your chocolate is nice and cool before you go ahead and pour it in your plastic or else it's just gonna be a disaster. However, I'm gonna start by taking my little paintbrush, dipping it in my chocolate, and literally just painting up the sides. Feel free to wear an apron because, oh hi Buffy. You can't have chocolate because that's poison to doggies. Wanna say hi to everyone? Say hi. She's the camera shy. So yeah, feel free to wear an apron whilst doing this because shit's gonna get messy. Of course I'm not. So I'm a motherfucking professional. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know if this is gonna turn out or not. So I'm just covering the entire side and then we're gonna be sticking this into the freezer just for about five minutes until it sets and we're gonna go ahead and do another coat. So I just pulled out of the fridge, I didn't put it in the freezer. I'm gonna put the entire thing in the freezer once I'm done setting on my chocolate. But we're just gonna go right ahead and give this a nice little coat again. If you do wanna try this, just get something that's smaller and that has ridges, right? Because that's the whole point of a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, because it has ridges. I don't know why I'm so excited about ridges. Maybe because it's ripped for her pleasure. Meaning the chocolate. Duh. Ugh. You guys are dirty. Dirty. 
So I'm gonna pour a little bit of chocolate at the very bottom. And I'm just spreading it out nicely so that it's nice and even. And once again, going back up the side, just making sure that it, they all have a nice layer of chocolate. Bo, Buffy, what are you guys doing? Just gonna throw that in the fridge for 10 minutes. So I did end up taking my peanut butter cup out of the fridge and I gave it another coat of chocolate all the way around. Uh, and I just stuck it right back into the fridge. In the meantime, we're gonna be working on the filling. As you can see here, one cup of butter, five cups of confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, or icing sugar, five cups of peanut butter. I chose crunchy peanut butter because that's my favorite. I love that little crunch. We're just going to be throwing that in the mixing bowl and then starting at a very low speed. Let's do it. So I'm just trying to clean up this hot mess here. It tastes incredible, let me tell you. You can do this by hand. However, as you can see from the consistency, it is quite dry, so you're gonna have to use a lot of muscle. I just opt for my KitchenAid because my mom bought it for me and I wanna use that. Just scooping all that awesome peanut butter goodness into my pan and just spreading it out right to the edge of the parchment paper. So now I'm gonna freeze this for about 20, 25 minutes, pull it out, we're gonna put it inside our chocolate shell and then cover it with chocolate and hopefully we have ourselves a ginormous peanut butter cup. Let's do it. Okay, so I just pulled this bad boy out of the fridge. Just going to gingerly loosen up the sides. Gingerly, Mark. Gingerly. Oh. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Almost. Oh, my God. Oh, it worked. Okay, so it totally worked. I love it. Um, yeah, I am in love with that. Okay, so next I just took our peanut butter filling out of the freezer. It's not really going to freeze up, but it will get firm, like jiggly, like that. And I know, I'm literally just flipping it over Placing it in my little, placing it in my cup, and just removing my parchment paper. Ah. So next, I'm gonna pour the remainder of my chocolate right on top of this entire Reese's Pieces cup. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. However, we're gonna see what happens. an offset spatula, smoothing everything out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, it's not working out. It's not working out. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? chocolate everywhere oh guys it didn't work I mean it worked but then it failed oh my god I love chocolate oh my god okay that's so my fault I should have known better the chocolate was way too hot when I poured it into the rest of the peanut butter cup oh that sucks <sighs> 
Ja. Ja. Yuppers. So that took me about 45 minutes to clean up. Sweating and shit. Sweating like a whore in church. Whew. It was going so freaking well. I was loving it. But like I said, my fault. I put that chocolate on way too hot and it just kind of melted right through that other chocolate and well, you saw what happened. However, there is a silver lining to this story. Yes, that was a huge epic fail, but I did salvage that peanut butter fill, which I love so much. And I do have some remaining chocolate left over that I found, so I melted it down. We're gonna make some peanut butter balls. That's what we're gonna do, all right? So, I mean, we went from a giant peanut butter cup to these peanut butter mounds, that's what I'm calling them, because they're not really uh, circles. And I mean, this would be something fun to do with the kids, right? Uh, Y'all are like, yeah, we just wanted to see a giant peanut butter cup. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. You know what, though? Because I wanted to do that so bad, I will do it again. I will get redemption. At least you guys learned how to make an awesome peanut butter filling. And really, I'm not even lying, it tastes exactly like a peanut butter cup. So, yay, I taught you one thing. I'm gonna continue making these. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video and I will see all y'all next week, hopefully without an epic fail. Mwah! Love y'all!